Hello, first and second graders. I'm so excited to finish up our collage volcano. This is our last step. I'm really excited to see these. I know you all have been working so hard on them. So you're going to need your artwork that we've been working on with our volcano and our warm color sky. And then this week you will need a paintbrush again and a water cup, a paper towel, and then let's see some paint. So you all got some paints home in our last um, supply pickup. You should have brown, yellow, and red in our little paint cups. So let's go ahead and get started. You're gonna get your paintbrush, give it a wipe on the paper towel if it's wet. And we are going to start painting our volcano first with the brown paint. Now, you're just gonna grab a little bit of paint from that little paint cup. We don't want to actually completely cover up our newsprint because that's what's kind of giving our collage that fun character, it makes it look a little bit different than if we were to just paint it or draw a volcano. It's kind of fun to see all the different prints. So we just really want to give it a little bit of brown color, a really thin layer of brown. We're not trying to cover it up and make it a solid brown. We want to show that we created a collage using some interesting papers and it just gives it a lot of um, interesting texture. So I'm just gonna go over my whole volcano with a really light coat of brown paint. This paint is washable paint, but if you wanna lay some paper down on your surface, that's always a good idea to be working on top of paper. All right, a little bit more. You can see how I'm painting it, but you still see that we made this volcano out of some magazine sheets. You can still see the words, even some of the colors still show through, which I don't mind. I like the way it looks. Okay, I'm happy with that. So you're just gonna give that volcano a nice layer of brown and then when you're done, we'll wash our brush really well and then dry our brush and then you're moving on to your lava. So depending on how much, oops, my paintbrush just broke. Depending on how much lava you added, um, this might be real quick. So you have red and yellow, and I think you know what to do if you want some orange lava. You'll need a palette or a plate, and you can just mix a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow together if you wanna create some orange as well. So you'll use those colors, and you're just gonna carefully paint over each of these little strips. See, I'm gonna grab another paintbrush. Go for some yellow here. And the same thing like we did on the volcano. You're not trying to cover up the prints completely. Just give them a nice light coat of that paint. Let's see, I think I'll do another. I like the way that yellow looks. I'm gonna do another one yellow. So mine, this is gonna just take me a minute or so to finish my lava, but you might have some all over the sky. You might have some coming down your mountain. So just make sure you paint all of those pieces that you've added. I'm gonna finish up with red. All right, and that's it. My volcano is done. I'm pretty happy with it. You can see all my pieces are painted now, but we can still tell that there's cool magazine.
pieces in the art. So finish up your painting, let it dry, and then if you want, send me a photo of your finished work. I'm really excited to see these. Good job working so long on these. Um, and that's it. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you guys soon.